Former Connecticut Senator and Vice Presidential Candidate Joe Lieberman will be laid to rest. That'll be tomorrow. The service will be in Lieberman's hometown of Stamford, Connecticut. The 82-year-old died yesterday afternoon following complications from a fall. Falls can be incredibly dangerous for people in that age group. Yeah, the CDC says falls are the leading cause of fatal and non-fatal injuries for people over the age of 65. So right now we're joined by Dr. Richard Dupuis, the, the chief of geriatrics at Tufts Medical Center. Doctor, it's great to have you with us to talk about this, this sensitive and important topic. Question one, let's start with the family's disclosure that Lieberman did die after suffering what they said were complications from a fall. So what are some of the most common ones that you see? Yeah, that's that's pretty sad. You know, it's the number one cause of death in, uh, due to injuries in, in older adults. Most of the complications relate to aspiration pneumonia, pressure ulcers, uh, other types of infections, and also a recurrent fall. Patient is uh, trying to recover from the first fall, gets a little bit confused due to the medication that's being given, such as a narcotic, tries to get out of bed, falls again. So yeah, it's, it's uh, the, the death rate from a uh, hip fracture, for example, is almost 50% at six months in older adults. It's very sad. That, that, that just that just makes you go, wow, doctor. You, you would associate a fall with death in a certain age group. Wow. Mm. And we're talking about people older than 65 being more vulnerable. But who in particular is at risk here, Dr. Dupuy? Clearly older age is number one, but also more common in women. Those with cognitive impairment, patients with ever dementia, for example. There's good data to suggest that if your vitamin D level is low, that may increase your risk. Obviously, any foot disorders, arthritis of the knee or, or hip even. Folks that have balance problems, but patients who are on medications that can affect their, make them confused. Uh, those are for obviously Parkinson's patients, for example, prior stroke, but uh, generalized arthritis. Those are the kinds of the, sort of the more common causes of falls. So, so doctor, let's have a conversation about prevention in the, in the, you know, in the framework of a television news segment here, but what do older Americans and their caregivers need to know? Well, first of all, you should have a fall risk assessment, and that can be done by your doctor in a number of different ways. And once that assessment determines that you're at fall risk, the key is to, is to strengthen your muscles, especially the quadriceps, which we lose as we get older. So you go to physical therapy, and the therapist will help strengthen the lower extremities, but also teach you balance mm -hmm. uh, interventions, and that's Tai Chi. The combination of physical strengthening and Tai Chi really reduces uh, risk for falls. Obviously, home hazards have to be uh, looked at. Scatter rugs shouldn't be there. There should be support when you're getting into the uh, shower, you mm -hmm. know, grab bars, things like that. Mm -hmm. And obviously, avoiding medications that will increase your risk. Great, doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Dupuy.